I just found this really cool button on Twitter and in this video I'm going to do a quick breakdown. We start by adding the button with rounded border and uh, padding. We use overflow hidden to hide the animated gradient. So if we remove it, we can see what is happening. Then we add relative so we can add the absolute span inside to make this effect. We used flex to center the text. Then we added gradient to the button background and set the text color. Now let's move to the interesting part where the magic happened. We can notice here we have a inset of zero and in the bottom body we have a inset of one pixel, which means we are creating a one pixel of space which allow us to see what is behind. We made a conic gradient, then we define the colors, we set the animation and aspect and scale it so when it rotates it also can cover the angles. 